Hi everyone, Carrie here, and we are continuing to talk about workplace issues. We have so much to get into, so we are not gonna waste any time. Let's get to it. Issue number 25, stagnation in role. I want you to express your desire for growth and ask for specific steps or projects that could help you progress. You might say something like, I've noticed that my growth has plateaued recently. Could we identify opportunities or projects where I can develop and contribute more significantly? Issue number 26, consistently overworking. I want you to highlight your commitment, but also highlight the impact that consistently overworking has on your health and productivity. You might say something like, lately I've been consistently working late hours. Can we discuss prioritizing my work to ensure that I'm focusing on what's most critical? Issue number 27, unaddressed salary concerns. I want you to prepare by researching salary benchmarks for your position and the region. You should present your findings and also ask for a review. You might say something like, based on my research, it seems like my salary might be below the market rate for my role and contributions. Can we explore adjusting this to reflect the value that I bring to this team? Issue number 28, lack of recognition. I want you to provide examples of your contributions and express how recognition is important to you for motivation and engagement. You might say something like, despite my efforts and achievements such as this thing, I've noticed a lack of recognition. It's important for me to feel valued and understand how my work contributes to the overarching business goals or strategies or objectives. Issue number 29, poor work-life balance. I want you to propose a specific flexible working arrangement that could help you. This could be things like remote work days or flexible hours and also how they might benefit your productivity. You might approach the conversation by saying, I'm finding it challenging to maintain a healthy work-life balance. Implementing flexible working hours or remote work days could significantly enhance my productivity and my well-being. Issue number 30, toxic work environment. I want you to address specific issues without pointing fingers. Suggest a team meeting or a workshop on workplace culture. You might approach the conversation by saying, lately I've observed some behaviors that might be contributing to a less positive work environment. Could we consider some discussions or activities on how we might improve our work environment? Issue number 31, no feedback or poor communication. I want you to emphasize the value of feedback for your development and suggest regular one-on-one -on -one meetings. You might open the conversation by saying, I've noticed a lack of feedback on my work, and that makes it difficult for me to gauge my performance. Could we set up some monthly check-ins to discuss my progress and any areas of development or improvement? Issue number 32, your company's financial instability. I want you to express your concern in a manner that shows your commitment to the company's success and your interest in being a part of the solution. You might say something like, given the recent rumors or the news that we've heard about financial challenges, I'm concerned about our direction. Can you provide any reassurance or clarification on our stability and any future plans? Issue number 33, ethical concerns. I want you to approach this delicately, focusing on your desire to uphold the company's values and seeking clarity or solutions. You might open the conversation by saying, I've observed some actions that seem to conflict with our company's ethical guidelines, particularly around this specific issue. It's important for me to work in a place where I can stand behind our values. Can we talk about how we might address this? Issue number 34, lack of resources. I want you to identify specific areas where resources are lacking and also propose solutions or request additional support. You might start the conversation by saying, I've been finding it challenging to complete tasks efficiently due to outdated software or equipment. Could we consider updating these to improve our team's efficiency and output? By framing your concerns in a constructive manner and proposing solutions, you are opening the door to meaningful discussions with your manager and peers. This not only shows your initiative, but also your commitment to personal growth and the company growth. Issue number 35. Career misalignment. I want you to clearly articulate your long-term career goals. 
and ask for opportunities that align more closely with these ambitions. You might start the discussion by saying, as I look toward my future career path, I realize that my current role may not fully align with my professional goals, such as this thing. Can we explore how we might position me to better evolve or if there are other opportunities within the company that might be a better fit? Issue number 36, inadequate management. This is an interesting one. I want you to offer constructive feedback, if you so choose, on management practices and suggest areas for improvement, ensuring to highlight examples that illustrate your point. You might open the discussion by saying, I've noticed that our team's morale has been affected by a certain management practice, such as this thing. Could we discuss potential adjustments that might better support and motivate our team? Issue number 37, lack of innovation. I want you to propose areas or ideas where you believe innovation can be applied and express your desire to take on projects that challenge the status quo. You might open the dialogue by saying, I feel like there are opportunities for innovation that we have not yet explored, particularly in this area. I have some ideas that I would love to discuss and potentially add value to our team and our company. Issue number 38, limited feedback. I want you to suggest establishing a regular feedback mechanism, such as a monthly or biweekly one-on-one to discuss performance and development opportunities. You might open the dialogue by saying, I've noticed that feedback on my work is infrequent, and that makes it challenging for me to gauge my performance or areas of improvement. Could we set up a regular scheduled meeting for feedback and discuss my progress? Issue number 39, high turnover rates. I want you to approach this topic with concern for the company's health and express your willingness to contribute to solutions that might improve retention. You might open the dialogue by saying, the recent increase in departures from our team has me concerned a little bit, more so about our environment and stability. Can you share any insights on what's driving this and how we might work together to retain people? Issue number 40, outdated technology and processes. I want you to highlight specific areas where updates could increase efficiency and propose exploring new tools or methods. You might start this discussion by saying, I believe that updating our specific process or tool could significantly enhance our productivity and the quality of our work. Is it possible for us to review and consider modernizing our tools and processes? Issue number 41, lack of diversity and inclusion. I want you to express your commitment to diversity and inclusion and suggest participating in or forming committees to address these specific areas. You might start the discussion by saying, I've noticed that our team could benefit from a more diverse and inclusive approach. Could we discuss some of the curing initiatives or potential strategies for fostering a more welcoming and and diverse work environment? So we have covered a lot of workplace issues today. You might have found yourself somewhere in these different scenarios. If you have questions or comments, don't forget to leave them below. Um, And don't forget to check out the next video as we continue these workplace issues. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you on the next one.